Chiswick, Sarah Fuller's history, what it ultimately means. Also, the Iron Bowl one-sided yet again. How about Georgia offensively? They're going to win Saturday's start for these Chiswick. Not eight yards rushing this week. No. 208. Looks like right them cockroaches going me. for it. Boys, we'll see you in a few. Darian Chiz, the Gamecocks are going for it on their own 34-yard line in the first half. Down 28 to 10. Mike Bobo figuring this is the only way he can beat his alma mater. Playing keep away. Hands to nope. No way. Not even close. Oh, Harris with the second effort. Wow. There was never a whistle. The dogs gave up on the tackle. And Harris wow. Alpha, Alpha stopped that dude, man. He was stopped, man. Lap him up. Damn, man. On the keep, which is what they were counting on. What an effort by Kevin Harris. It sure was. Harris gets maybe a yard on the next play. Ojolari and Monty Rice both came in there. That was a hit, that dude, man. Out of Ojolari's hands to give the Gamecocks new life. And South Carolina does get the football first in the second half. So there's a real chance Georgia doesn't see the ball again if South Carolina can continue this drive. Back-to-back -back possessions is what you're trying to get. And also, deny the other team's offense a chance at your own end zone again. Underneath throw to Harris. As they continue to get it to their best playmaker. And Harris... Tackled in space by Tyreek Stevenson. It'll be third down. Clock still running. Y'all can't blitz this dude in the running back not covered, man, because he can catch the down ball, too. If the running back not covered, he can easily get a first down or showing up the um, field. Still, what an effort on that fourth and short. Third and four. Gamecocks just two of six on this play tonight. Doty. Flips a tackle, gets out of bounds, up at the 46 yard line. That's enough for a first down. I gotta hit that dude, the man. Version of a run pass option. Heavy spread outs. The dude gonna run the ball when he have to. Well, he tried to get it off, but I yeah. think they're gonna take a look. He may have gotten it, but it's close. This is only made the first down. The previous play is on the front of the review. You can see, I think you can hear Bo, Mike Bobo saying, Whoa, I can't, I think you got the ball off before you stopped play. Now I gotta tell you, Terry, it did. It looked almost like South Carolina got this next play off. But you see, Plus, the tackle that dude, man. Down the boundary. Extended the ball. I don't know that he did. He looks like he kept it tight. His right arm. Damn, right? Kind of loose for a moment. Nah, it's tough to tell. I don't know that he got enough. I think initially Kirby Smart and the Georgia yeah. staff was probably wondering if he stepped out at the 44. It didn't appear so, and like you said, Stinch, doesn't look like there's enough to overturn it. You would think the call stands. Although, the season we're having with these no, predictions yeah. on the calls, maybe we'll just... You never know with these, these stupid-ass refs. went out on that It's a rickety branch. After we hear the road on the field stands. All right. We got one, right? We miss you, Matt Austin. Thank you. We will do. We will do. South Carolina got that next playoff before they stopped. When he had to get to the 46, you see the change, you drop on the change there, he's inbounds, he's out of bounds, but that ball right there, the 46 yard line, it's a good call out there on the field, I believe. So Gamecocks keep it with 113 to go. First down, now Amos in the backfield. Hit his ass! Gets rid of it right at the last second. And Rashad gets past midfield. Boy, Doty took a hit from two Georgia defenders. Hit that motherfucker, man. That's a couple of times where he's got sandwiched in the backfield. Checked it down again. They were trying to get it to Jalen Brooks over the middle. Couldn't get it downfield. Oh, shit. And yeah, he gets drilled once again. 
and Bull Johnson throwing the ball. This is Muse, first down Gamecocks, out of bounds inside the 40. They were saying they want to get the ball more than Nick Muse. They have to, no Shai Smith. He is their most reliable receiving option. It's come up big a couple of times. Continuing to go quick and just taking what the defense gives Doty. All these underneath throws. South Carolina is so limited by downfield receivers. I got to press up on these dudes, man, on these short yardage plays. They're going to keep trying to do that to stop the clock before they can score. Doty's done a good job of that so far tonight. 10 of 12 passing here in the first half. Hit his ass. He's tackled down near the 30 at the 31 yard line. Timeout, Gamecocks with 49 seconds left. One time, excellent coverage downfield. Nowhere to go with the football. See, he's going to run the ball if he'll see nobody open. How effective he can be with his innovative, scramble, extending plays. I'm telling you, he like Bo Nix, man. This motherfucker be trying to slip and slide, man. I've seen a ton of runs from him here tonight, but you can see that he can be elusive. Marty Smith and Ryan McGee, our good friends, have some fun and talk everything SEC Wednesday at 2 Eastern, right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. A little afternoon special from Marty and McGee this Wednesday. Luke Dudley's looking pretty good out there tonight, Alyssa. It's about some of those challenges that Georgia has, certainly defensively, preparing for Mississippi State one week, then South Carolina the next week. Not a lot of sample size from Luke Dudley. Yeah, Kirby Smart about to blow a gasket. High school tape to prepare for. From the 31 yard line on third and two, he's going to be tackled short of the line to gain. He was trying to take it himself. But gets tackled by Nolan Smith. I'm surprised the flag didn't come out like that. A little two things happened. The flag for what? South Carolina moved early on the offensive front, but only after Georgia did this defensive line shift, something that they always do. But there was definitely movement between the South. And South Carolina waited until there was 30 seconds left to call that final timeout. Let's look. Yeah, that's false start. This false start. These refs here, man. I don't know if it was outside or, but that was false start on that South Carolina offensive line. It's a little surprising that Coach Bobo called that timeout with 30 seconds left. I thought he might let the clock run down to attempt a last-second field goal here. Instead, calls timeout and appears he'll keep the offense on the field and still try to see if he can get a chance to get six points instead of three. Of course, you run the risk of getting nothing if you don't get the first down here. Exactly. That makes more sense why you would have called the timeout earlier. If you're thinking you're going to just try to knock one through the uprights instead, he wants to have multiple cracks at the end zone. What now? And now Georgia will call timeout. First charge time on the Georgia. 30 seconds. Down to the field for our favorite promo of the night. Is that thinking out loud? It yes, sure I think it is. Guys, Monday nights, I know you're always DVRing it if you're not watching it live. 7 o'clock Eastern Time on the SEC Network. Join me, Richard Johnson, Brandon Boykin, and Spencer Hall. It's an hour of nothing but SEC talk. Yeah, we take you outside the conference a little bit. Got to catch up on college football playoff talk, but it's the most fun hour easily of your entire Monday through Friday. Come hang out with us. You won't regret it. I don't know if Stitch can tell you crossing out the loud and right in lane, thinking out lane, <laughs> Monday nights at 7 Eastern time. Of course we're watching. You're usually texting us, Alyssa, while the show's going on. Alyssa has more TV shows than anybody in the company now. She's got two of them. They're right. They're highly rated, too. That's, That's right. Good. That's absolutely Let's see if they go back to Kevin Harris. It was a second effort last time on the fourth and short by number 20. And now a false start. Yeah. Uh. They called the false start this time. Thank you, we'll take it. 
the second time. A South Carolina receiver's got a procedure the fourth time. After last time on the fourth and short by number 20. And now a false start. Oh, that's big. False start off is number 89. Come on, get this damn second quarter before we can go into halftime. Shit. To get it there, but this would be a career long. 53 yards. And he hooked it too much. Yeah, no good, bitch. So Hot Rod would have made that kick. Hot Rod would have made it. Now, what a huge penalty. When you take the time out early, as you mentioned, Thinking you want to extend the drive. I, I gotta think that South Carolina had a shot play called right there. Because you're fourth and short, you're yep. all geared up. <laughs> I thought one of the offensive linemen moved again. I didn't see the, I didn't see the motion. They had seven up on the line, it appeared. Well, 25 seconds to go. Georgia does have two timeouts. And they're throwing the football, Burton, first down, up past the 45 to the 46, with 17 seconds left. Burton had a career day last week versus Mississippi State. Eight catches exploded, really, in that football game, almost 200 receiving yards, a couple of touchdowns. Georgia does use their second timeout. Yeah, he was the SEC freshman of the week last week with that performance. Come on, let's get into halftime. Todd Martin and the coaching staff, he all said, look, the guy's too good of an athlete. His body control is what really stood out. We've got to find a way to get him on the field. So move the guys around. It's up here as Jackson ends up in the slot. They kind of fought back Demetrius Robertson to second straight. And then they're going to have George Pickens out wide. They had to find a way to make room for their true freshman in Jermaine Burke. Bob Leslie's got a big leg. He kicked a 51 yarder against Tennessee. So I mean, just about 20 yards to get in his range. One timeout in 17 seconds. Daniels to the sideline, and that's caught down at the 30 yard line. Oh, it's picked off now. Wow. How in the world did Jamie Robinson end up with that football? I don't know what the fuck just happened on that fucking play. A little bit, but you see the shot. He caught it. That's crazy, man. Like, he, he had the damn catch. And it ends up in Jamie Robinson's hands. Wow. Curious Jackson has his football. Damn, Jackson. He had it. The defender hit him, and the ball just came out. Like, Jamie Robinson, who was coming over from his safety spot, comes up with the title. They're going to take another look at it. Well, no. Third and final charge time on the half. Georgia. 30 seconds. I'm sure Kirby Smart would like them to take another look at this to make sure that Robinson had a foot down and had possession of the football. But that was unbelievable. Jackson taking that hit and somehow Robinson coming up with the football. His second career pick. First one he's had this season. Just have to think. Obviously, you want to get this call right defensively. If you're Georgia, I also think maybe they want to take another look at it. Here's Jackson. Almost makes a great catch. Bounces right off of him. He's definitely in bounds. 
great effort play. Jamie Robinson tracking that ball. It was really Jalen Foster running underneath Karis Jackson to turn it loose. So, Doty from his own 30-yard line with only nine seconds to go in the half. Hit his ass! Yeah, bitch! Stay down, Paul! There you go, Ojolari. Cockroach motherfuckers. Yeah! I'm gonna get my halftime report. Let me just upload this video and I'm gonna get y'all my halftime report.